Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I will show you one impressive plugin for Filament. Have you ever had this situation? You need to select a few records like users assigned to the task from a lot of records like thousand users for example, people from different departments, positions and stuff like that. So you can of course search and you have some customization in select field of filament, but still it would be cool to search by email, by other fields, maybe add some more filtering within that select. So I will show you the plugin that turns this select into this. You click select users and you see the table of users with sorting with searching so you can search by email or other fields then you select the user here click here and then the record is picked that plugin is called record finder pro it is not free but it's totally worth the money if you have the project suitable for it if you have the problem of choosing from many records and you want to make the experience more convenient to your users and also at the end of this video i will show you how to get 15 percent discount for that plugin. Disclaimer, I'm not affiliated here. I don't get paid for this video. In fact, for quite a while, I've been planning to shoot reviews of paid products and paid plugins, both on Laravel Daily and Filament Daily channels, but I just didn't find time to message the creators and ask for access or comments or stuff like that. Luckily, Ralph, the creator of that plugin, wrote to me first, emailed me, and here's the review of his plugin. Again, Ralph didn't pay me anything. This is an honest, unbiased review. I genuinely liked this plugin. Let's see how it works. So the idea where to demonstrate that plugin on which project came from one of our filament examples where I needed to choose like create task and choose assignees and those assignees the users are divided into groups like geographically and into positions like profession or hierarchy and in that project we could choose all the group or all the positions and stuff like that. So now with this record finder plugin, it can be done more conveniently. And how it works after installation of the plugin, all you need to change in your form is change the select to record finder. And that record finder, of course, should be on top in the use section like this here. But the syntax is almost the same. You again specify multiple and you specify relationship, which is many to many in this scenario. The only difference is that you don't need to specify the title attribute because, well, it doesn't show the title. It shows the full table. Now, question, where does it get the table from? How does it know what fields to show what should be sortable or not? The thing is that if you have the resource for that users, it automatically reads the resource and repeats the same logic as in your table. So the same columns, the same sortable behavior, the same search will be in that modal window for choosing users for the task. But if we go through the extensive docs page and search for customizing table columns, you can override the initial table and create kind of your own standalone table. So you call standalone, which cleans up all the table and you provide the columns that you wish, which is exactly what I did here. And let's see how it looks now. So we go to tasks, new task, select users, and we have only two columns instead of four. And those are not sortable anymore because I didn't provide it and not searchable. So there's no search. Now, remember the original problem that we may want to choose the full group or the full position. So in the user model of Eloquent, we have group and position as belongs to relationships, and we can add that grouping to the table of user resource, and it can be reused in that model window. So if we remove that table standalone, and we can introduce the grouping here in the table in the user resource. So if we go to the filament docs of table builder grouping rows, all we need to do is default group and specify the column. So default group, and in our case, for example, group name like this. So our table then looks like this. So people without group and then group Australia branch. And if we go, for example, 25 per page, do we see other group? No. Yep, this one, Canada branch, Hong Kong branch, and others. And now let's see how it looks in the model window. New task, select users, and we can also see the groups here. There's also pagination, next and previous, and you can choose the full group with one click like this, 22 records selected, we click select, and we have the list of users, but it's not very readable, right? So how to customize it? There are a few ways how we can change the behavior. For example, list with line breaks. And now if we try to do that again, select users, select group, select, and now we have the list like this. Other options I will show it to you from the docs 
include bulleted list, badges with icons like this, inline design like this, and more options. You can read about them in the docs. And also you can do limit list to, for example, three items. And then when you select the full group of 22 records, it would look like this. Three and 19 more. Finally, there are customizations for how that model should work and look. Quite a few options available here, but what I want to emphasize, for example, what is probably the most important is the size of that model window if you want to show a bigger table. So let's try to add open model action model width. So we paste it here. Max width should be auto completed in the use section on top. But instead of two extra large, let's change that to what are other options? Max content, for example, like this. And side note, I like using the constants for this instead of their string values. This is powered by enums under the hood. So now if we refresh and that model window doesn't really change, I was expecting that to be full width on the screen, but all the columns fit well. So probably there's no problem. You can play around with various values of customizations for the model. So yeah, that's the plugin. A few words about installation. So when installing that package, you need to specify the repository that would give you the access to download that package. So you will receive your email and password after the purchase and a few more configurations. But also what you need to know what I encountered myself is that plugin requires at least version 3.2.92 from filament. At least it didn't install for me with the earlier filament version. Not sure why, probably there was something released related to the forms in that specific version of 3.2.92. Also, you need to have custom theme available. And finally, related to installation and documentation, tip for package creators, especially if you release a paid package, the documentation should start, in my opinion, with demonstration what the package is about. Maybe I'm lazy, but to read this text is quite hard. It sounds like marketing, easily integrate, advanced component, greatly improve the UX, show me the screenshot. The official screenshot is here on top, but from this one, do you understand what the package does? That's record finder where. And the first screenshot showing exactly what the package is about comes only after like three or four scrolls on my MacBook Pro. So yeah, tip for package and plugin product creators. And by the way, I see one of my missions on this channel and in general on YouTube to showcase the packages in actions because quite often authors don't do that in a good way in their readme documentation. Now, I promised you 15% discount, which Ralph generously gave to us. And I have a special link for that. And I will put that link in the description below you see 15% off here with two versions of what you can purchase. That link with discount will be active until November 30th, so roughly for a month from publishing this video. Again, I will repeat, I don't get paid for this video. I'm not affiliated. I'm just sharing the message about great plugin. What do you think? Is it impressive enough for you to pay for that, for it to be a paid plugin on top of Filament? Let's discuss in the comments below. Maybe you know other alternatives? Also, share them in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.